Hi guys, welcome to another club tour by myself, Bateson87. It is the Monday night as I'm recording this. The promotion has just finished for foot birthday. Um, we have got the new foot swap calendar, as you can see, from April uh, all the way to the end of April. And foot swap, I think, is pretty amazing. If you guys haven't taken a look at it, we will take a quick look in today's video because I'm going to show you the, the route I'm going to go down for the month. Now, there is a flashback Martinez SBC, which we've already completed in two days. Um, well, completed today anyway, so we don't need to do that. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, leave a like, rate, and hit the bell button as well so you never miss an upload on the channel. So, what we have got this week, or even this month as well, is we do still do have the foot swap, um, sorry, foot birthday uh, challenges still open with the Milinkovic Savage and the, uh, the Boateng uh, version as well. We then have the squad battles, which I'm not really fussed about, but it does get you a lone prime icon moment, so who knows, I might do that one. I probably will do that one, I lie, I probably will do that one. We've got the goals in Rivals, which gets you a rare player pack, which is a 50k pack on Tradable, which is pretty nice. And we've already got the Freddy Guari. As we move over um, to single player in the SBCs, what I have done, and some of you will notice, is that we have done a lot of these mid-icon upgrade packs already. If you've seen them, there was a video out. If you don't want to spoil this um, that video, go and check out the uh, mid-icon upgrade video I did, where I opened six of them, I believe. That was uploaded on Saturday. I and Robin, we got in a club and we should be testing him out soon. And then if we take a look at live, there is still a Perisic foot swap deals player. And then there was a flashback Martinez just released now, which we've completed. And you guys will see him in the club as well. He's not got a dynamic image yet, but still pretty golden. The icons... Instead of completing the icons, what I have done is I've done the loan versions. I think I've only completed one of the icons prime moment SBC so far, uh, which is none other than... If I can find him, Maldini, he's the only one I've done. Um, the rest have been like loan versions, but you can see there, Maldini is the only one we've properly completed. And we're downstream. Now, if you guys didn't know, and I'm going to use this as a way to promote my stream, I do stream daily, 10 p.m. till 4 p.m. on twitch.tv forward slash Bateson. If you guys want to come pop along, see some gameplay, see some me chilling out, really, got some any questions you want to ask me, feel free to do so, guys. I'll, there's a link in the description anyway, so you want to pop along and uh, see that. That'd be absolutely awesome. Uh, the foot swap deals players though. So this week we have been given a jumbo gold pack, a premium gold player pack, a Nicholas Pepe, 87 rated. He does have a higher rated version, which is his headliners. We've got a rare mega pack for four swap, item, swap items. Um, Timo Werner, Andrew Robertson, Mounier, which did cause his price to crash a little bit. Um, then we've got the jumbo rare player pack. And then this is the page, which I think is fantastic. An ultimate pack for 10 swap items. Antoine Griezmann for 12 foot items, um, base icon pack. Now, a lot of people are like, oh, it's a base icon pack if you complete all 14. Now, it is pretty tough to complete all 14, I won't lie, but if you guys aren't interested in Douglas Costa, 90 rated, or Griezmann, and you want to do something else, what you can do is do the base icon pack. Uh, if you don't like the player, go and put it into an icon SBC and get the 100k pack and potentially pack yourself some of Maybe if Team of the Season's out or, or you guys want to hoard your packs, then that's the way forward. What I'm going to be doing, I think is going to be the base icon pack, even though I've got enough icons anyway. So I don't know, I'm torn between Douglas Costa and base icon pack, um, as I've already got Mooney in the club uh, already. But that's the way I'm going. If we move on over to online, rivals... It's a little bit weird at the moment. I don't really know which way I'm doing it. Um, the scores have changed. My ELO rating's 2875, or skill rating's 2875, which is still pretty high. And it's very difficult. So I don't know if I'm going to be unlocking the players, but if you guys want to watch my streams, hopefully we can unlock them weekly objective players uh, via doing it. And I'll show you the team in a second what we're doing with that. Um, that's Rivals. In the Foot Champions this past week, we finished 27 and 3, which did leave me two skill points or two skill rating points out outside the top 100. The reason I know that is because we went to Europe. We looked all the way down, and I think we're at 2 3 18. Literally, the, uh, no, 2 3 19. So, literally, me and Fair J and even uh, Bass actually Bassinio got in, but us two, the new oh, actually, us three, sorry, the news or J and me all missed out by two skill ratings or one skill point, as you can see with them two as well. So, pretty rough, but I'm never going to complain. But still had a fun weekend. I mean, you guys know we stream Weekend League uh, over on Twitch as well. Moving into the team. You guys want to see a lot of the players now. We have we're using this to complete the weekly objective. We've got Ronaldo up front for the Serie A player. We've got Werner at right wing, 
for the German player. And then we've completed Maldini. That gets us full chemistry. Now, once the weekly objective has finished, my team, as it looks, will look like this. Swap them two over. Uh, and then Werner would go out for Mbappe like that. That's how the team would look as we would start out. As we would swap in the team for the rest of the uh, game, we would switch it to defensive. If you guys haven't seen my custom tactics, search um, or go and have a look for the, for the squad builder for this. We would move these two around, and that's how um, the team would look in game with Ferran and Maldini at centre back and Ramos, who I should have jumped on this in in the past, guys. I should have jumped on that in the past. Uh, is a pretty pretty good centre back, uh, right back actually. So uh, daft on my part. We then got the likes of Eusebio, Maradona, Messi, Van Dijk, Kante, team of the years and stuff, left, right, and centre. But the main part of the video, uh, which I want to show you guys, is the players. I like showing you guys the players we've got in the club. Um, should I show you the leaderboard first? Yeah, let's take a look at the leaderboards. So. As we look for top squad, I think we've got a 196, but in the past we had a 197. I know a few people have seen a 198, but that isn't a complete team. So if you guys haven't seen the 197 rated squad builder on the channel, search for that and you'll find it. Club value is at 6, but them SBCs this past month have completely rinsed my club. Um, transfer profit, second in the world, which is embarrassing at the same time, I think. But still pretty good. Uh, and the match earnings were nowhere near that. But if you guys want to see the full rundown of my uh, club, uh, there it is. Match earnings, 1.4 million. Close to. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, club. This is what we want to see. Player search. Loan icons for days. Bateson's realised that I don't need to complete the icons. I'm going to use the loan versions. For content, you guys will probably see some squad builders with him. We picked up our 9 for 15 million, the rarest card on the game. Um, 77 games, 49 goals and 42 assists. That's from the cam position. Maradona, I've, done, I've not played with him yet, but I am going to play with him. Eusebio, 81 games, 31 goals, 7 assists from the bench. Hullet, 205 games, 49 goals and 102 assists, which is fan fantastic for a CDM player. We've also got Rijkaard. Uh, then we've got the Team of the Year players. But the Team of the Year I want to show you is this one. 618 games, 743 goals and 387 assists. That is a fantastic return for Ronaldo. Well over um, the 1,000 uh, 1, inclusions uh, with the team. We've got De Gea, who's closing on 100 goals. 604 games and 94 goals. Six more goals than he'll uh, have it. And Bappe, 576 games, 441 goals and 222 assists. And then we've got Neymar at 544, 288 and 199 for him as well. Um, then we've got the rest of the players. A lot of them which I'm not really fussed about. Uh, I think the last week I actually got rid of a lot of players which I had earned through like um, team of the uh, like team of the week, like the 81 and rate 81 rated informs and lower because they were extinct and I made quite a bit of money on them lot. Um, even though you can see quite a few of them here, Pat pulled um, uh, Salah. We got Marcelo used for the best possible Brazil team. Um, a lot of different versions and a few just stars I've kept rid of, but a lot of players I have offloaded uh, in preps for team of the season. The future stars, I think, are pretty safe, by, bar maybe one or two. Foot birthday players, I think, are pretty safe. We picked up a Mooney here tonight for 190 after the foot swap was mentioned. Um, and you can see the rest of them uh, here. Some nice, nice players which we can maybe use uh, to input into SBCs in the future. But I think as we get to this page, it should drop down pretty dramatically just because I got rid of a lot of, like, I've got all these and I'll sell these in a few weeks as well. Um, just because their prices always seem to go up for some reason. And the same with like McGinn, Benes, and Elmas there. Um, we then got a lot of players like this, which, like, how much is Suarez worth? See, them players I could probably use in SBCs, and I wouldn't mind doing it now. Because it's only like the mega players, like the likes of Paul Pogba, who are worth way over the rating price. And I'm actually going to offload him now, because I have no need for him. And the rest of the players, like the values of them, are uh, pretty standard. Maybe David De Gea is way over. No, he's the same as well, like pretty low for a 91 rated player. Um, <clears throat> and that's basically it. But if we do swap it over to special, um, we'll take a look at new as well, so you guys can see what players we've got over the past couple of weeks. Martinez, Mounier, two foot swap items as of today. Van Basten, Rijkaard, um, flashback Nani with his updated uh, picture as well. Maldini, Ramos, we completed him. Didn't want to complete him, but I did complete him. Uh, Lewandowski, Ribéry, Marcelo, a few of the players I bought. We've got in there as well. A few of the icons, which you guys will have seen in the video. Um, we've then got Iron Robin, who I can't wait to use and have a play around with him. Who else we got? Lukaku sent about flashback Doombier. 
Perisic. Like, for birthday, give a lot of cards out, especially this one. S. Wine. Did he scarf me? No, he never. What a disappointment. Um, who else have we got? William, Naldo, Javinho, uh, Vidal, Ibrahimovic, Koulibaly, Salah. Pavard and Walker, we packed on the same day, didn't we? Like a launch of foot birthday. Same with Lukaku and Promes. Martial was my first one. The SBC for Werner. David Villa's in there as well. And this will probably take me on to the month. So you can see we've got Mata. A few red cards as well. Um, Maradona, Ronaldo, De Rossi, Hector Bellerin. This was Carnival. Who else have we got? Brandt, Pulisic, Thiago, Leno, Bradley. Gomez, Bonaventura, like the only player I have missed out on during the weekly objectives has been that Demre Bay, I think in Rivals, we had to full, use a full German team. I'm still not impressed with the, the, the requirements that EA asked for when it comes to playing in Rivals, especially in Division 1. If you guys are in Division 1, you'll know how difficult it is to achieve them players, even though they are a bit difficult, and they should be a little bit difficult. They're just unobtainable for some people. But hopefully the team which you guys saw me do it with is the way forward. Um, and that is basically it for the month, guys. We've got Nibarbo there. Uh, Payet, flashback. We did two of the league SBCs with Rabio and Titi. A foot swap player as well, Falcao. And I don't even know how far we went back for the last month. But uh, Van der Sar, we packed as an untradeable as well. Probably going to use him this weekend. If you guys know what I'm talking about with the best possibles, he could be featuring, dependent. Uh, baby icons, David Luiz. And that's basically it, guys. A rundown of the club. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. We're not finished, though. We are going to open some of the packs which uh, we have got from the Martinez SBC because I didn't really have anything to do with them. Uh, so we'll crack open these for you guys now. There's nothing in packs, but I wouldn't complain in getting some club fillers like Herodeki. That's not a bad one, is it? Um, just to throw into the club and then a mega pack to finish off with. So if you guys have enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. And like I said, if you want to see the custom tactics and player instructions, there is a video on the channel which you guys can check out. We actually get an informed Italian sent to me. Who's that? Cal Cagliari. 81 Barella. I don't know if I've got him or not, but could be one we can burn an SBC. So there we are, guys. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like rating on it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And uh, we'll be back um, tomorrow for another video for you, you guys to enjoy uh, pretty soon. So have a nice rest of your day, guys. And bye-bye.